playing. It is a lovely sunny morning and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. Ugh, I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <sighs> oh, yes. Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <laughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody! Cookies! <laughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? <laughs> yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Peppa. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. <laughs> What's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Peppa has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle. Santa's visit. It is very early on Christmas morning. Peppa and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George! Wake up! <coughs> Santa's bean! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comets! And tangerines! <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! 
Hey, what? It's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <sighs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I asked Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdsey. Birdsey. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. It is morning. Hooray! <laughs> Muddy puddles! <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Duck. What are you doing here? <laughs> wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! 
Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Uh -huh. Chocolate. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing. With just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good un. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her bouncy ball. George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? It's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper. we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. 
Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity. Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> And that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No. That would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock, too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Hmm. And very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny morning. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Daddy, aren't you going to work today? No, Peppa. It's Saturday. Daddy Pig doesn't work on Saturdays. Daddy Pig, you'll be late for work. But it's Saturday, Mummy Pig, isn't it? No. It's Thursday. Oh. Daddy Pig works on Thursdays. See you later. Bye-bye. Poor Daddy having to work. Lucky Mummy, you can play at home all day. I'm not playing. I'm working on my computer. <laughs> George wants to play the Happy Mrs Chicken game. George, we can play the Happy Mrs Chicken game after I've finished my work. Oh. <laughs> Mummy Sheep and Susie have come to pick up Peppa for playgroup. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> have a good day at playgroup. Bye-bye, Mummy. Work hard. <laughs> Mrs Sheep, do you work or do you play? I am going to be working very hard today. <laughs> I'm off to the gym. What do you do at the gym? Running, jumping and skipping. Mummy, that's not work. That's 
play. <laughs> Peppa and Susie have arrived at the playgroup. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> oh, children. Today, we will play shops. Ooh. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me. Me. Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. Peppa and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie, and you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No. But we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be a hundred pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. No. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No. But you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one penny, please. Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak. Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot. Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> It is home time. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Pepper and Susie. Daddy, have you had a busy day? Yes, I've been working very hard. We've been working very hard too. We've been shopkeepers. Blah, 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 blah. The end. And print. Mummy Pig has finished her work. <laughs> OK, George, perhaps we could just play one game of Happy Mrs Chicken. We've earned it. <laughs> Naughty Mummy, you're playing Happy Mrs Chicken. Oh, that's because George and I have finished our work, haven't we, George? <laughs> We've all finished our work, so let's all play! <laughs> the Secret Club! <laughs> Peppa has come to play with Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Susie! Hello, Peppa! Why have you got that mask on your face? So people don't know it's me. I'm in a secret club. Ooh, can I be in your secret club? Shh. It's not easy to get into. You have to say the secret word. What word? Flubber double. Flubber double? Right, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Dog has come to play. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. What? I'm in a secret club. I'm in it too. Ooh. Pedro Pony, Candy Cat and Rebecca Rabbit have come to play. Hello. Shh. Susie and Peppa are in a secret club. Can we join your secret club? It's very hard to get into. You have to say the secret word. Shalama cookie. Shalama cookie? That's not the word I said. It changes all the time to keep it secret. Oh. Are we in the secret club now? You're in. What do we do? We do secret things in secret. And secretly go on secret missions. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Show us how you do a secret mission. Yes, show us. Uh, Peppa can do it. You've got the mask on, Susie. OK, my secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Mummy, can 
I have some biscuits for my friends, please? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Shh! Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy, but don't say anything about our secret club. Hello. Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum? You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> It has been very stormy weather and the school roof is leaking. How can we raise the money to fix the school roof? We could have a fun run. <laughs> What's a funny run? It's a day for picnics and giving money to see people run. And the more money you give, the further they run. Good idea, Daddy Pig. How far can you run? What? Uh, well, I can run as far as you like. But, Daddy, you can hardly run at all. Nonsense. I'm an expert at running. Good. Does anyone else want to run? No, no thank, thank you. you. But I'll give money to see Daddy Pig run. Me too. And me. Excellent. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are eating spaghetti. <laughs> Delicious. Is there any more spaghetti? Daddy Pig, you've already had three helpings. Eating gives me energy. And I need energy for my fun run. You also need to practice running. What if I practice eating today, then practice running tomorrow? No, Daddy. You need to practice running now. Oh. Come on, Daddy. Race you. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. It is easy to run downhill. <sighs> it is hard to run uphill. I don't think I should have eaten so much spaghetti. It is the day of the fun run. Madame Gazelle has a chart to show how far Daddy Pig must run. If Daddy Pig can run to here... The supermarket. Then to here... My granddad's garage. And all the way to here... Windy Castle. Then we'll have enough money to fix the school roof. I'll do it now. Ready, steady, go! I did it! Now we can have the picnic. <laughs> Silly Daddy. That's just a drawing. Yes. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! 
The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Lighthouse. Pepper, George and Danny are having a day out on Grandad Dog's boat. Can we go to Pirate's Island today? Yes, Daddy. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. Ahoy there, matey. <laughs> I brought your supplies. Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. Danny, Peppa, and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Oh. I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes. Please. I got up this morning, the sea was still there, so was the sky. The sea, the, the sky, the sea, the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh, I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round! <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbits. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not three, many places to hide four, on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. What found you? Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? Boo! 
George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George! <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. <sighs> My new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry. Hooray! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the fog horn? Of course. Fog. I can hear something. Fog. Grampy Rabbit is. Guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, yes please. please. I got up this morning. morning. Pepper and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Pepper. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Boo! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win. Hello, Candy. Meow. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Boo! Yes, George. It's a blue car. So you win. <laughs> <sighs> this is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Peppa. Where? Oh. <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Look, the sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> and do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? 
OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow, it's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow? Treasure? Yes, I have. A big, muddy puddle. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Peppa. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. Good night, my little piggies. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come for dinner. Hello. Hello. Where are Pepper and George? They're asleep. Oh, but I so wanted to see them. Can I take a peek? OK, Granny Pig, but be very quiet. <coughs> Granny Pig! Yangy Ig! Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. <coughs> OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep after the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found some magic beans. Oh, yes. Now, Pedro planted that bean and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. We promised to sleep. When the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up. And along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Peppa, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig, 
They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper? George? Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro's cough. It is a school day. Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh! Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear. Pedro has a cough. Not to worry. I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know. But it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> Tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet flavored yogurt. Ugh. It tastes of Flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <laughs> <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Pepper. <coughs> Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <sniffs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Oh, it tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill, and there's no one to look after him. Oh! <coughs> 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 Who can that be? 
Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye-bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. We know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Rabbit comes to play. 
Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. This will be the best house ever. <laughs> George! Richard Rabbit is here. <laughs> Georgie! Richard! Dinosaur! Dinosaur! Bye-bye, <laughs> Richard. I'll be back to pick you <laughs> up later. George and Richard are best friends. <laughs> My house down. Please play something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! dinosaur. George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. Potato. And I say potato. 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 The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV programs. Potato. 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land, and dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, Doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! Choo-choo! <whistles> the bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no! There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh! Now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Hmm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down! <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. Gym class! Pepper and her friends are going to the gym today. Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. 
This is the gym, where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of, of fun. fun. Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children. Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Ah! Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you. But you, you look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and flap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> and rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. And my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Ready? Don't forget to do the call. <laughs> Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done. What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it, like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grampy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs>